we are now going to take up the process of fertilization that takes place in cockroaches. We have seen the male and the female reproductive system. So after understanding the structures in the reproductive system, what exactly happens? So there are three things that we need to talk about. One is called copulation, then fertilization, and metamorphosis. Now what happens in copulation is, male and female cockroaches, they copulate from their posterior end. The male cockroaches, they have external genitalia which are known as phalomers. These phalomers, they are used to separate the turga and sterna of the last abdominal segment. Because when we were talking about the female reproductive system, we said that seventh sternum that is on the ventral side is boat shaped. So this boat shaped and on top there is turga. So here in this depression, there is this genital sac. So the male would separate these two plates that is turga and sterna and here is going to be the opening of the female genital uh, or rather female reproductive system. So when these two plates are separated, then only the sperms can be deposited. So to separate these two plates, the phalomers are used. Males have already stored the sperms into structures which are known as spermatophores. So these are the sperms and we have seen when we were talking about the male reproductive system that there is one layer deposited around it. This layer, it is secreted by the longer peripheral tubules. The second layer which is deposited is by the smaller or shorter tubules of the mushroom shaped gland. So this structure is spermatophore. Now there is a third layer which needs to be deposited and the third layer will be secreted by phallic gland. So now let us draw only a little bit part of the genital sac. So in case of females, this is that sac like structure. We made the opening here. This was the female genital pore, the vagina and these are the two ovi ducts and here are the ovaries. Then there is one opening here which is of the collateral glands. The left collateral gland was larger and branched and the right one was smaller. And above it we also saw an opening of the sac like structures. These sac like structures, one was bigger and the other one was smaller. These structures we have already seen. So this is collateral gland, left and right, and these are the spermatheca. Now, using the phalomers, the male cockroach separates the turga and the sterna. So now when these two plates are separated here, the female gonopore is visible. And now this structure, that is the spermatophore, is attached with the help of, again, external genitalia. The spermatophore will be attached here. It has the outer layer, then there is an inner layer, and inside there are these sperms. Now where exactly this attaches? This attaches to this opening. So I'm going to draw it separately. This is or these are the spermatheci where the sperms would be stored. And at the opening of this we find the spermatophore is attached. And here are the sperms. As soon as the spermatophores are attached to this structure, 
that is the spermatical opening there is secretion of phallic gland which is released and this secretion of phallic gland it hardens so the spermatophore remains attached here for some time this outermost layer is the secretion of phallic gland and it becomes very hard so now slowly the sperms would be transferred from the spermatophore into the spermatheca this is the spermatophore and this structure is the spermatheca so sperms will be now stored in here now the situation is so this is what we have shown here now after this once the sperms are transferred here the empty spermatophores they fall off empty spermatophores fall off that means this hard structure would fall off and it will be lost from the female's body but the sperms are stored in this spermatical sacs now next stage again the female gonopore is going to release the eggs so after this we have this stage so now from the female gonopore the eggs would be coming from the ovary simultaneous or rather one alternatively one ovary will release the egg then the next one so as soon as the egg is released from the spermatheca the sperms will be released so sperms will be released in this genital sac and as soon as the sperms are released here fertilization is going to take place and when they are getting fertilized same time there is a secretion of collateral gland so now what has happened is there are eggs there are 16 eggs which are arranged in two rows of eight each so one two three four five six seven and eight four five six seven and eight so there are total eight eggs which are laid in a chair and they are fertilized and after fertilization this entire structure would be covered by the secretion of collateral gland so this secretion is of co glands and this entire structure is known as utheca there are total 16 eggs and these are fertilized eggs fertilized eggs and utheca are formed now this utheca will be shaped by the ovipositors so utheca their shape is changed to this it has a concave side from where the utheca will rupture when the nymphs hatch out of it so this is the utheca and these utheca are deposited in damp and dark places using the ovipositors so these ovipositors are those structures here which we have made so when this utheca is formed utheca has 16 fertilized eggs in two rows of eight each and there is a secretion of collateral gland which hardens so now this complete structure is called the utheca shape of the utheca has it has been changed and the shape is changed by the ovipositor it becomes little bent it has a concavity from where the utheca would rupture and the nymphs would hatch after this when utheca ruptures what comes out are called the nymph nymph are nothing but young cockroaches and these are more or less transparent wings are absent 
the body is transparent wings absent and reproductive structures are also not developed yet these nymphs they would undergo 6 to 7 moltings molting is also known as ecdiasis that means the outer exoskeleton which is made up of chitin would be shed off and the new exoskeleton would be formed and after these six to seven more things the nymph is going to change into the adult cockroaches so life cycle shows metamorphosis and the metamorphosis is called direct metamorphosis So why is it known as direct? Because indirect metamorphosis has various inter, uh, intermittent stages like what hatches from the egg is a larva, larva changes into pupa and then from pupa we get the adult. Here what comes out is a young one. There are certain structures which are not there but it resembles the adult insect or adult cockroach except for wings are not there and the internal structure that is reproductive organs are not fully formed. So as it grows, these structures also develop, they undergo moldings and we straight away get the adult cockroach. So copulation takes place where the male deposits the sperms which are packed into spermatophores. The sperms get stored in spermatheci. When the egg is released, same times the sperms would be released and the eggs would be arranged in rows. The secretion of collateral gland will make it hard, the outer cover, and uthika will be formed. And in uthika, the young ones would develop and a nymph would hatch. So, copulation takes place, fertilization takes place in this genital sac, and metamorphosis is direct. So, with this, we have completed the complete life cycle of cockroaches. We have also understood, we have also discussed various systems of cockroach. Now the next uh, animal that we will start with is going to be frog.